Hi, I'm Abby, and welcome to my channel, Abby's Big Ideas. Today, it's a beautiful summer day. We're out on the patio, and you may have noticed from my last video that I have a little puppy dog who really enjoys being outside on our covered porch. However, the door just keeps getting in the way. My husband and I have decided we're going to install a doggy door in this storm door, which will allow little Jesse free access to the patio whenever the regular door is opened. So we got this on Amazon. I will link it below. It's the Dog Mate Small Dog Door. Since our dog is under 10 pounds, we opted for the small version, but this, this comes in different sizes. What is it? Doggy door? Oh my goodness, that's exciting. Open it, open it. Okay, so let's see what we got. Template, I'm sure that will come in handy. That's nice, because we're gonna have to cut the door. And then here's our hardware and instructions. And here is the door. And you can lock it in different directions so that the dog can either open it or you can lock it so that he can't open it. So this is our storm door and we are going to be installing the doggy door here at the bottom. So little Jesse here can come and go. I think once he learns to use it, he will love this. They provided us with a template. It even has a sticky on the back. So this is really handy. We're just gonna go ahead and stick this to the door, make sure it's level, and then I'll trace around the template. I've gone ahead and marked the center of the door and also the center of the template. So we want this to be approximately in the middle. So I'm going to line up my markings, place the sticky, and then I'm gonna use a level just to make sure that this is level. Now we're ready to trace the template. As you can see, I have a helper. <laughs> Okay, you guys, now comes the fun part. We are going to cut a hole in our door. It's time for some power tools. We are gonna start with a drill with a big old bit because all we need to do for, for sharks is to just drill a starter hole. I have put on my glasses in case any little pieces fly off. You don't want to get that stuff in your eye. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> the dog has been <laughs> relegated to the inside of the house and he's not much pleased. He's trying to see what's going on out here. Well, that was fun. And there are two, actually two sheets of thin metal with some insulation on the inside that kind of resembles styrofoam. Um, so that'll flake out a little bit, no big deal. Now we have our starter hole. The next step is we're gonna be using a jigsaw to carefully cut around this line that we traced. So wish me luck, you guys, here we go. And now we're ready to take off this hole. We've got a layer. This was what was on the outside on each side. And then there's kind of like this foamy stuff. Here we go. Yes. That was fun. <laughs> so this door comes in two pieces. The larger piece that looks like this goes on the interior of your door. So you're just gonna slide it right in. Now this side will pop on to the inside of here. There we go. Okay, you guys. So this door actually came with screws. And at this point, if you were using a traditional door, you would just wanna drill some holes and screw it in. However, we had to modify it a little bit. We're actually using bolts because this door has a foam core, we couldn't screw directly into it. 
So what we're doing is modifying this and using bolts instead of the screws that came with it so that it will hold securely. As you can see, Jesse is anxiously awaiting the completion of his door. The kit came with these little plastic covers so that you can cover up the screws and make it look all nice and neat. So we'll just do that, that's easy. They just pop right in. There we go. Mm -hmm. 